Joyce, good morning. Start here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, we're gonna be very relaxed. Ah, uh. no, no, no chill. Nothing. In, in fact, what I normally do is I like the very um, you know, relaxed chat about art, right? Because art really is uh, such an amazing thing. Okay, first yeah. time we're talking to this big lollipop. <laughs> okay. No, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> So 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 maybe if I can uh, start with this, all right. So you you are the boss of weekend sketches, right? Not boss lah, uh, yo. You are the you are the you are the. Okay, maybe you can say you are the organizer of uh, weekend sketches. Uh, maybe you can introduce uh, yourself to my audience. Uh, from there we'll take it. Yeah. Okay. So my name is Joyce. Uh, so tell me about myself. Uh. Yes, so yourself. Yeah. What do you do? What's uh, your? So so I'm a I'm a new so called like a health coach yeah so a nutritionist and then basically my work entails about helping people with their health uh, in mm. general right. so I run a own business in per se uh, it's a self-employed right, right. Uh, that's the best part actually. yeah so I work in my own terms uh. mm. so sometimes I work harder because I need the money <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I run so called a global business so long there's a client there's a need uh, anywhere he is or she is is, uh, I'll be there for the person uh, in terms of their health, whatever right. health needs. So my uh, basically majority of my clients they they have health, weight and health issues. Right. Uh, so that's my uh, uh, my forte uh. Right, 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 uh, right, right. Okay, so I try to nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm, Helping people mm, to mm. become a better person. Yeah. Right? yeah so yeah. I also do a bit of a beauty business. Uh. Right. Uh, right. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Thank you for that. And uh, uh, what's your background? Actually, what did nothing to do with art, right? Okay, so uh, I have I've uh, actually changed career. Right. So I'm actually a finance graduate. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't know that. That's yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's what my dad wish. I think in the in the past, I uh. think parents right they want you to be lawyers they want you to be accountant they yeah, want you to post, be uh, economists yeah. or whatever <laughs> so yeah. my dad's wish is that i need to have some a career that is uh that is uh can 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 be like uh, i can do this career for a long time until i retire right uh, but it's not what i want <laughs> yeah so that i fulfill yeah. my dad's wish in finance right, right, uh. Right. Uh, <laughs> just do the degree right yeah degree but i did that. i did do did a couple of years in finance so right so, so I you actually did some <laughs> finance work yeah, yeah okay. so I did work for dot com companies right yeah uh, work for eBay PayPal and my last company was Salesforce Ooh. <laughs> oh, so, that's closer to home because I'm an IT, so I know exactly uh, what you mean. So by I work uh, eBay, PayPal, and Salesforce, with tech yeah. company. Basically, right, uh, right. I actually specialize in treasury. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, managing their money. Yeah, managing your so, so hedging. Uh, like. Hedging FX. Uh, so those right. are the things I've never done. Wow. I've never been doing for many years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's that part what, I didn't know about you. <laughs> yeah. So that was what I did in the past, and I right, did regional right. roles. Uh. Okay. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> uh, oh, it was a regional role as well. Yeah. So I travel a lot for work. Mm, yeah. Nice. Okay. So. <laughs> How did you get into art though? I mean So since young I love art already. Yeah. Right. So so to so my my dad actually because I love art so but then he wanted me to do finance. So right. then he as a child he let me go for classes uh, so called right, enrichment right. classes right. <laughs> so I did start uh, like a uh, Chinese painting right. so I did learn uh, quite a few years calligraphy and, and calligraphy uh, watercolour or is this calligraphy no 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 it's really okay. ink, ink the like Chinese ink. painting so I black did black and white it's all black and white black and white and then some colouring okay. yeah I so I the Chinese did, uh, ink yeah the Chinese kind of stuff so yeah. I did that for many many years oh okay but okay. I think I kind of lost touch and right. then when I start working I kind of forgot how it works so I forgot about art <laughs> right 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 Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and where did that spark comes back? So the art thing came back when, uh, because I I am a community chef as well. So right. I started doing cooking for the community in uh, this GUI ground up initiative. Right. Uh, and then so happened I think this urban sketcher. There's one girl called Hui Ling. Yes. I yeah. Know, yeah. <laughs> so she was running a like a sketch walk and right. to at the farm where I was cooking for the community. So happened. Ah. And the day that day the they say oh they have too many chefs so I can take a break. So I just like 
just like kepo and then I see hey what you're doing uh? hey, this is interesting so yeah, then yeah. a little kind girl right she just gave me a paper and a pencil right. and then I just started oh this is quite fun how to join yeah, this so yeah. then that's how all everything start, kind of started oh, <laughs> so th- okay so how long ago was that wow now? this is like uh, maybe 6-7 six, years 6-7 six, years yeah 6-7 mm. six, seven yeah, years yeah. I remember <laughs> you start to appear in all those uh, during 6-7 years yeah 6-7 yeah. years it's amazing to see your journey I must say uh, <laughs> I've seen your progress and you know it's amazing work this year mm. later we'll show your sketchbook so maybe a very quick one uh, the first question I have is a very simple one mm. around your material so what mm. material do you normally use is it watercolour only mainly or uh, uh, you do other things these days I think so my materials to be honest I never really invest a lot in materials so I'm kind of blessed most of my material people give me <laughs> <laughs> that's a good place to be in <laughs> so I started then some people like just give me a book a sketchbook right. and right, all sorts right. of materials so I got it as gifts I don't right, didn't right. really I only buy very basic stuff right. yeah uh, I started with pencil uh, and just a normal sketchbook Not, I don't know mm. about the material or what so it right. could be quite simple your palette is also just a basic palette yeah just a small one right uh, only one you don't have many and that one was also a gift a right. small little one I cannot remember what's the brand I think it's a Korean brand the, okay okay yeah. <laughs> there's quite a few of the Korean brands yeah. but yeah they're all pretty good yeah yeah, yeah. So you're not too particular about it, actually. No. Yeah. What about ink and pen and all that? So I only st- and then I didn't go and learn art per se, and yeah. I and I just like people how people do, and then just try to copy and try to st- learn from how what people do do, do in their work uh, during the sketch work. Right. So I really only started learning when, uh, when I went and take classes with Casey Lee. <laughs> ah, that was uh, recent, though, that, a few weeks yeah. back. The one you organized. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. That's uh, like uh, I did classes. My first classes with him was uh, with a lady. With a lady, her name is Susan. Right. Uh, we went for a travel sketch walk in Ipoh. Right. So that was my very first lesson with him. Right, um, right, right. Mm. We are out here in the beautiful uh, grasses and uh, whatever, but it's some construction. <laughs> you can hear the chiming of the bell in the Victoria Concert Hall mm. uh, behind. So anyway, it's a beautiful day out on a Sunday. <laughs> Sorry, back to uh, the the material. So you have very simple material and. Mm. That doesn't really face you yeah. lots of them are gifts yeah. but uh, okay so so I think so you know to my audience out there it doesn't matter you don't have to buy the best uh, <laughs> you know F everything and you can uh. still produce really good stuff uh. Uh, yeah so the next question is uh, around membership you know like who mm. you who are your kakis who are your uh, the folks that you sketch with and hang out with in terms of uh. art right yeah. so so basically in terms of membership I Try started to join the Sunday one with uh with a girl who run the Sunday sketches if I remember. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she Ren Hui. was host by Ren Hui. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I started and then after COVID started. Yeah. And then we kind of took a pause and then yeah. And then we 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 met a couple of people just a close one, uh just a few of us where we can do outdoor. Yeah. Uh, once that's in a right. while, but that's, that's during right. the COVID time. Uh, and then the Renhui group like, kind of uh, stop in a while and they just do online yeah <coughs> so so these few people that were was a bit more close uh, where we met every Sunday in the past uh, we kind of met secretly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, in a certain location and then we started a, a WhatsApp, small group uh, a small, small group, group and then we did the WhatsApp group and then yeah. and then actually George you know, asked me, and then a lot of passerbys come by yeah. and then the group kind of grow a yeah. little bit more yeah. and then like realized I couldn't handle the WhatsApp so we I started the Facebook group yeah. uh, and that's where George said oh why don't we just create a Facebook group so yeah, I started yeah, yeah, a yeah, Facebook yeah. group called Weekend Schedule we thought of a name together uh, because weekends I I, why is weekend? Because I'm not sure whether I'm going to do Sunday or Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Options are open. Yeah, so I did weekends uh. in a way uh, because I'm not very sure yet at that time. Right, so right, we right. started Facebook and then after like a year or so, more people come and see us sketching. Yeah. Uh, and and then when the COVID was eased down, then we can kind of have more groups. Uh, yeah. I started to do Instagram because nobody want, wanted to join the Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. hard. It's hard to run so many things. It's just too yeah. much work. Yeah. So I started Instagram. So the Instagram right. was a different yeah, different vibe. <laughs> but yeah, different vibe. A different uh, group also. A different group, think, yeah, yeah. Different group. 
Yeah, okay, thanks for that. So membership, but you're clear, uh, uh, do you still join a lot of the urban sketching? Some, sometimes, right? Yeah, sometimes I mm. do urban, sometimes I do the cafe sketching as well. Right, yeah. right, with James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. depending on my sketching. work schedule, yeah. I understand, because you have late nights too, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. Sat- Sunday is my day for church, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so. Well, I go to in the evening these days, so oh. I, I, the morning gives me a bit more uh, time. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Service at 6 p.m. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, I think it's, it's kind of nice to see that actually you need a membership, people to hang out with, encourage you, and also go together to fight the battle of the uh, the weather, mm. the, <laughs> you know. Sometimes uh, even though when it rains and you cannot sketch, uh, but you can have coffee and you can sketch the cafe, um. right? It happens all the time, yep. uh, membership, yeah. So, okay, so membership and then the next one is uh, mind, so the development of your mental thinking around sketching and all that. So tell us uh, maybe how you kind of think about your own development, your own progress over the past few years uh, how, how do you think you know you, uh, you talk about taking classes uh, right that, yeah, that's one but so, what, mm. so I so I really started kind of serious after I start taking lessons from Casey right. because in the past it's really just learning here and there it's like self-taught yep. uh, and, and so the so Casey gave me a, a understanding of the theory and yep. I, I get more details of the foundation work yep. so I really started with pencil and mm. then after that I transitioned to ink yeah right, right, ink right. and then uh, that's where I like the ink right, yeah right, so right. use the neat pen right. <coughs> uh, and then I'm a sepia person <laughs> <laughs> yeah in lots terms, of sepia yeah. in terms of the ink because I prefer the soft touch yeah yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. not uh, so harsh not so dark, harsh blank, uh, yeah. so I, I'm still into ink I haven't really started watercolour per se although I'm like trying here and there uh, yeah, I yeah. so I'm a person like I want to master the that thing first before I transition to another right. Another watercolor, another <laughs> so area, another yeah, area, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. I'm still learning ink, right, yeah. Right, it's right. just like the, like you learn from a sifu that you just want to master that. Then only he will teach you other right, stuff. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Casey is a great teacher, though, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah. So uh, and he's excellent, right? Uh. Uh, and he was recently in Singapore, right? Yes, so, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah, workshop. It's uh, fun, yeah. So, okay, so maybe from a mind, uh, like you say, you're developing one and then you go to the next one mm. and so on, right? Mm. Um, any specific, uh, you know, uh, concept or uh, idea that you really, really like about, uh, you know? Oh, so I like the idea about journaling. Yeah. Journaling. So, mm. So that's something like uh, again Casey introduced about journaling. Yeah. So I love the idea about yeah. journaling, and yeah. then that's where the the design and the concept yeah. and the composition comes into play. Right. So for the page, right? For, for the, page. the page, yeah. So I'm so I'm trying to learn how I can compose mm. and tell stories of the of my artwork through the yeah. paper. Right. Yeah. So I'm still uh, it's still experimental. Uh, mm, mm, trying mm. different forms of uh, concept and design. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think that's right or wrong. I uh. think it's about uh, putting your feelings onto a paper uh. and memories on the paper mm. and so on, right? I mean, mm. people sketches talk about sketching memory, not mm. sketching a scene, but sketching memory. Mm, yeah. Um, so. Or yeah, and sometimes you want to put an emotion with words or with visual, right? Yes. So it is actually imprinting your emotions into that. So that's yeah. journaling in, in yeah. that sense, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so very, very I nice still idea. enjoy doing that, uh, mm. trying to transform that uh, into yeah. different, yeah. Different no, that's ways. nice. That's <laughs> lovely to, to know that uh, uh, you're working on journaling. Yeah. yeah. A- any other thing, like, you know, are you working on like values or mm. uh, stuff like that or like so, compo- yeah, shapes? So, and so really more composition. So composition. I'm still uh, trying to see how I can uh, do better composition right. and design. Uh. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Mm. Because that's the most important thing. You, <laughs> page, you design white spaces, your yeah. darks and so on. Yeah, right? yeah. so mm. I'm still okay. constantly learning. Mm. I still see other people's art. Mm. Yeah, but now I'm trying to learn about people sketching as well. Yeah, mm. because Figures, I think the people portrait, yeah. kind of bring life to the art. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's important. Yeah, <laughs> uh, without figures, the uh, painting is quite a different level. Yes, with figures, yes. you suddenly have life in it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Thank you for sharing mm. that. Uh, the next one is about motivation. Okay. Uh, and it's what motivated you then, and you spoke about it, right? Mm. But what motivates you now? Why? Why do you sketch now? Uh, why? Is, okay, so. I've always liked art, but it's just uh, didn't have that opportunity to make art as a career. Right. But now I think I can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I think I can 
make art as part of a lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it's quite enjoyable and it's very mindful. It's a mindful activity. Anybody yeah. can yeah. learn and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's clarity when you're doing it. There's uh, mind. Mm. It actually helps with your mindfulness, right? Yeah, so it yeah. really mm. helps the eye, the mind and the mm. hands. It's mm. like coordination and also observation. I feel it helps mm. a lot in everything we do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack there. Actually, in my, in, even in my own experience, mm. uh, you can take it to the business world and yes. you know, learning to observe better. You see better body language. You see, uh, you know, you see more things. Yes, and, I completely agree. Right, yeah. because your eyes are trained, so you see more things, and yeah. I, that's really something yeah. that I think most people would, uh, should you know consider taking up sketching and art just. To even just to basically improve your observation, even though you, if your sketches are rubbish, mm. it doesn't matter. It improves because you practice observing, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So it helps you to understand the mm. person, the language, the body language, yeah, 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 yeah and yeah. the expression, and a lot of things, yeah, from that observation. Yeah, yeah. no, I cannot uh, <laughs> cannot agree more. Uh. Oh, okay. So motivation, uh, and the last one in my five M, and it crows a crow <laughs> crying <laughs> nearby, which is lovely. Uh, is the idea of muscle practicing what, what is your practice you know like in order to be a marathon runner you need to run so in this case right how, what is your practice do you do every day do you do every week do you do so uh, don't have the luxury of time to do every day yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right, because right. we still have Very our few. work uh, I still have a business to run uh, but then the Sunday thing that I host mm. is uh, like a a thing that I have to do. Uh, yeah. So Sunday is my real day that I really. Right, right, uh, right, right. So you get to uh, <laughs> practice your art on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, but su- but now I try to like do in when I'm on train rides or I'm, I'm ah, traveling. Okay, okay. So I try to like try to sketch a bit and then right. it will train the muscle. <laughs> right, 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 yeah, right. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's where I sketch a bit. But most of my time is really Sunday. <laughs> right. And what about uh, the things you carry with you on those train rides? The small sketchbook so in your hand. I so I just really now use like a Daiso two dollar book, the very thin one, yep, and yep. some sketchbooks. Yeah, it's just a book and a pen now. Yeah, so I try mm. to build confidence with just inking it directly. Yeah, without pencil. Without pencil. Yeah. yeah. So it's, no, that's good practice. Yeah. I think that's uh, yeah. Over time, you uh, of course with practice you get better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we cover the material membership, mind, motivation, muscles. This is mm. my five things I kind of ask to <laughs> get a lot out of each sketches, right? Mm. The next question is around if you have a chance to send a postcard to yourself mm. when you first started your sketching journey mm. six, seven years ago. Mm. Uh, if you have a chance to advise yourself, what would the little postcard say? Oh, wow. This is a little bit difficult question. <laughs> what comes to mind now? Like, uh, I wish I knew A, B, C what, or A yeah, or B. So, I, I, so, actually, I wish I knew urban sketching uh, very earlier right, on. Uh, right, so, right, right, I may right. be... It may bring the different thing out of the <laughs> urban sketching, but right. I, but it's never too late. Yeah, never too yeah, late. Yeah, so yeah. the seven years I know about urban sketching uh, has been very enjoyable. I must say the people, so blast, yeah. mm. the people, the the they we share the like-minded joy of drawing. It's a yep, it's a yep, very yep. beautiful community. I must say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We yeah. we have people come and go. You know, we just yeah. before we started the podcast, mm. we were just talking about another friend who is leaving. Mm. Uh, the expat community in Singapore mm. is a uh, transient to mm. some extent. Uh, but lovely friends you made, right? Yeah. For so many years, you yeah. get to enjoy the weekend sketching yeah. uh, and yeah. so on. And by the way, Helena, you were in a podcast before. We're going to miss you uh, <laughs> if you're listening to this. Uh, so, you know, I mean, it's lovely in that mm. sense. Uh, so you wish you had known urban sketching before. A- anything else? No, that's one mm. little thing. Hey, go get to know urban sketching. Like, but, yeah. <laughs> Uh, or do more of it yeah do, I think it's do, doing more I think when mm. you discover something you just want you just like soak into it especially when yeah. you have this DNA to love arts yes. uh, for me I love arts since young uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No, I think so that's it's right. like igniting it's natural my, yeah. natural right <laughs> yeah, so, finding the joy yeah so so it's like you will discover more things not just urban and you may discover something right. that you never know that you will you want to do something out of it yeah, yeah something yeah, yeah. valuable for yourself yeah right. <laughs> alright I, I think that's about all that uh, we'll cover this morning I'm going to go through uh, the sketchbook uh, walk through mm. uh, flip through with uh, Joyce and mm. then you know we'll take you to the second part right mm. so thank you very much for the conversation thank Joyce you. was really really fun <laughs> yeah and thank you for listening bye, bye. Mm. 
Okay, Joyce, we're going to do a sketchbook uh, flick through. Let's mm. tell us this story about uh, what this sketch is about. Oh, so this one is a recent TC Fest, fest uh, that I did. Uh, so I collaborate with uh, Lin Wong who is the director of the who wanted to revive this festival that's long lost for 50 years so I so we had a GC fest last uh, weekend uh, running for two days so I thought of doing a journal uh, telling the story of what happened during that uh, fest okay so it's happened in Smith Street in Chinatown uh, and then there were a lot of activities going on there were Tongqing yeah so I drew the bus, the, the old bus. Yeah, so I drew There's this no uh, around, yeah. Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, so and then I drew. Uh, there was a person drawing lanterns. Yeah, and then and then and then there was uh, also a uh, uh, people playing harmonica there. Right. Yeah. So it's like a this, concert. Like a concert. So this is was the center stage, and and then definitely must draw the mascot because the magpie was the mascot. So I the drew this. Magpies. So I put it in a little like yeah. a. Accordion kind of thing. That's nice. Yeah, yeah just see yeah, the end tell, of it. Yeah. yeah, to tell the story. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it's yeah. So this is how I did it. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the next one. Okay. So this is my recent sketchbook. Yeah. So so it's kind of experiment. So I draw a lot of food. So this sketchbook is more food and some other stuff. Uh. <laughs> right. So this is just uh, because I... Your day to day. My but they are cutesy approach. No, this one is because I I have a collaboration with the cafe owner. Right. Yeah, right. so I just like kind of just want to draw some illustration work, which I'm not very into not not exposed to illustration right like because of the commission work yeah yeah, yeah yeah so i draw some cutesy stuff and then and then some food and more food <laughs> and i'm trying to you can see i'm trying to uh, try the illustration kind of uh, artwork yeah, yeah, yeah which is yeah. not my typical so this was a uh, art jamming uh, at susan's place yeah uh, where we had about six or eight of us to draw on our art and come out to a different kind of artwork right with everybody eight, share yeah everybody uh, put a little bit of on yeah something something yeah. on this one piece yeah so right, it came right, out right, so right. I started with this corner <laughs> so it's uh, totally different but it's interesting and then this is uh, I went for the media launch right. so I drew a little bit on the media launch and then this is just a cafe that I went so I tr I'm trying different kind of uh, style right and then this is also uh, Susan's uh, event that she uh, organized at the Friday's Garden right uh, it's a very nice uh, art studio uh, not, not art studio it's a, a boot, uh, art play uh, a, a, a flower place right. yeah so florist, we, florist yeah. Uh, so we draw uh, we drew there and then this was uh, the last cafe sketching uh, nice. Uh, yeah, where James host, James, James and I host at the yeah. This was last last Thursday with Helena. Uh. Right, right, right. Nice. Yeah. So this is that. And thank you. And then this is another. This is a bigger one. Yeah, this is a big, bigger one. This is where, uh, this book is memorable because this is where I started uh sketch journaling. Yeah. Right. So Casey kind of a uh, so this is through a class. Right. Yeah. So he. Uh, exposed me to a book, a accordion book. So I, this is my very first accordion. So I get to sketch what I learned from him. So this oh, is wow. this is in twenty twenty two. Yeah, this is my I think second class, second class. Oh, that's him. a huge book. Yeah, so second class with him. So we we went to Ipo for a few days. This year, you can see the date yes. nine to twelve. September, so it was happened to be my birthday week. <laughs> oh, nice! So, yeah. so we drew, and then he gave me this little book to draw. So this is my work. It's not little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so we drew where we went, and then we there were a couple of us. We went together. Yeah. Right. So right, we right. had food. Yeah, dim sum, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then, and then this is uh. So this this sketchbook is something I like because it's my very first sketch journal. So this, wow. Uh, yeah. Lovely. So this is how it's all monochrome. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for watching to the audience.